Use the Moivre's theorem to solve z cubed equals minus 2 minus 2i in polar form. Now to use the Moivre's theorem, we can only do it when it is in polar form. So there's a few steps and I want you to hang in here. Our first step will say, let, because we don't want to use z cube, I'm going to say let u or let w equal negative 2, negative 2i, which means that z cube equals w equals minus 2, minus 2i. My first step now will be, so first step will be to express this in polar form. I need to show my working, so I'll say r equals the square root of a squared plus b squared, and that equals negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared, and that equals 4 plus 4 is 8, so it's square root 8. To find theta, to find theta, just a quick reminder that minus 2, minus 2i will lie there. This is my real value. This is my imaginary numbers. So real number is negative 2 and imaginary number is negative 2. So this is where I am. So theta will be the inverse tan or arc tan of b over a. That will be the arc tan of negative 1 over negative 1. That gives me an answer of 45 degrees, which is pi over 4. However, pi over 4 is over there. So I need to find it in this. So what I'm going to do is remember my answer is always going to be between 0, uh, between pi and negative pi. So this is where I want the answers in there. So to do that, I'm going to say, therefore, it's going to be minus negative pi plus because that distance is from negative pi in the positive direction so I'm going to say negative pi plus pi over 4 so my theta that I'm going to work with equals um, negative 4 over 4 plus pi is negative 3 pi over 4 so this polar form will be and this is now my second step my second, second step is to express this. So I'm going to say 2. I'm going to say w equals r square root 8 cis of negative 3 pi over 4. Now, this is something that we haven't done before. Because we have this, it's going to keep on repeating every 2 pi. Okay, so every 2 pi. So this is new. What we're going to do is we're going to say it's plus 2 pi for how many ever times it is. Now in this case, the k will depend on what this value is. There's three of them, so we're going to have three values that we have to be in before this starts repeating itself. So we have now in polar form. Now I can rewrite the following. Because I've got z, I can now say w equals z cubed. Therefore, z cubed equals square root 8 cis of minus 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. I'm just going to move up here because we have more space. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the cube root. So I'm going to say, therefore, z equals the square root of 8 cis of minus 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi k. And this is now to the power third to get rid of this to the power 3. Now I'm going to use the Moivre, and the Moivre says that this is the same as um, square root 8 to the power of third, cis of, and with this, it's going to be 
everything multiplied by 3. So this is multiplied, so it's minus 3 pi over 4 times a third plus 2 pi k multiplied by a third. Now square root 8, that is 2 to the power 3. That's the same as 2 to the power 3 to the power of third sys of and this is going to give us minus negative 3 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k over 3. I'm not going to simplify this as yet. I'll do it later. So that's a general answer. Now, I want to know, in our first rotation, so when k equals 0, what's my answer? Now this is going to be that cancel, so I'm going to have square root 2, sys of negative 3 pi over 12 is the same as, well, I can, actually can, negative 3 pi over 12 is minus pi over 4, plus if k is 0, then this is 0, which means that's my first answer. Minus 2, sys of pi over 4. Then k can be 1, so that is after one rotation. So with k equals 1, I'm just going to substitute this 1 in here now. It's going to give me square root 2, sys of um, minus 3 pi over 12 plus 2 pi, k is going to be 1 over 3, and this I'm just going to simplify now. Square root 2, sys of, this is going to be 2 pi over 3, I'm going to multiply by 4 so that I can have to the power 12, that gives us 8 pi, take away 3 pi, and that will be 5 pi over 12. That's my second answer. Is 5 pi over 12 between pi and negative pi? Sure is. Our last. So to get the second answer, our third answer, because it's cubed, there's going to be three answers. Um, if you put in a third, or a third one, and you can actually go and test yourself, you will get back to pi over 4. Okay, so k, k squared. I'm going to substitute this into my original, which is going to be square root 2, sys of minus 3 pi over 12, plus 2 pi, and k is now 2, over 3. This equals square root 2, sys of, 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to multiply by 4, multiply by 4. So it's a 12. That will give us 2 times 2 is 4, 16. 16 take away 3 equals 13 pi over 12. The only problem is 13 pi over 12 is bigger than pi. So it's 2 sys of. And remember, if I have 13 pi over 2, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take away. 2 pi and 2 pi, 2 pi equals 24 pi over 12. So 13 pi take away 24 pi is negative 11 pi over 12. And now I have three answers. I don't have space to write them. That will be 1, that will be 2, and that will be 3.